so the point is, if you, what I'll do when I'm doing planes and stuff like that is I've got paper like this, and I'll just tape it down. I'll tape it at the end, so then I've got positive lines to work off, and then you can come in with your tape. And that gives you, you know, that gives you then a real easy way to visualize everything you're doing and know if something is off. So then, if you do have to run a parallel, you can do it. You can, you can mark it. I usually use a marker, and I forgot to bring a marker. If anybody's got a marker, it's not all just a pencil. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got little uh, the little micron markers. Yeah, the pencil off that just wipes off with alcohol. <coughs> so again, if you've got these, you know, so if you've got the marks here, you can use your compass to get out to get your exact spots you need. Once you've got the parallel lines in, let's do that. Or you line them up. If the panel lines are right, you know you can line them up to the panel lines. Whatever you need to do. I'm not actually going to scribe it out. The other thing I like to do with pen, I got little, little fine micron markers, is to go in and, and, and draw your lines in that you actually need. To go in and, and run it all out. Then you can actually just run back along the panel, the uh, the marker lines. That's a good idea because. All the measuring in the world, and you put it down like, well, even though it's a accurate because it's yeah. not a, you know, a, a, rect a perfect rectangle you're working on, you might be like, well, yeah, it doesn't quite look right like it's supposed to. Right, I'll, I'll cheat a little. So you can get the exact center point. You can use your compass as a really easy way to to get measurements, and then run off that measurement if you want to. So you know, just use your arcs to get everything lined up. That's a good 